Hello, I'm Seth with Land the House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Basically, for every one foot of fall coming into this pump, you can lift seven feet out. In this video, I want to talk to you about standpipes. Why you need one or why you don't need one. So, this ram pump is a half inch, and it has a half inch drive pipe that is 190 feet long. At the top of this hill, there's a little bucket. Hard to see from here, but uh, this is actually too long of a drive pipe for a ram pump. You want to have a drive pipe somewhere between 25 feet and 100 feet long. But sometimes you can't gain all of the drop or head pressure that you need for a pump. And then you have to go further than the 100 feet. To do that, it's important to install a standpipe. This pipe sticks up in the air and matches the source water. It essentially brings the source closer down to the pump. And uh, so the terminology is drive pipe to a standpipe, and then it goes to supply line up to the source. So in our test today, I'm going to be running this half inch pump on this 190 foot drive pipe and we're going to count or time the uh, cycles of the waste valve and see what kind of pressure builds. Then we're going to install this stand pipe. It's going to stick up, I'm going to attach it to this ladder here, and it's going to match the source uh, and then some so that the water isn't pouring out the top of this. And at that point, we will run the test again and see what our cycle time is and our pressure. Pressure should stay the same and the cycle time should go faster. We want to have somewhere around one cycle per second. Now, it's not ideal to have a half inch drive pipe, a half inch standpipe, and a half inch supply line. You actually want to create a system where the um, the path of least resistance is up the standpipe. So you would have half inch coming in and maybe a three quarter going up and then a one inch going back up this way. That way the pressure wave wants to go up the standpipe and not back up here. And so if your ram pump were bigger, say a one inch pump, you'd want to have more like a one and a quarter inch standpipe and then possibly even a two inch going up to your source. Okay, let's run this test. It's probably gonna take me a minute or two to clear all the air out of this drive pipe. But uh, go ahead and turn that on. I can see that it's pulling some water there. So once this pipe fills with water, then we'll be able to begin our test here. And I may have to uh, tap this a bit to pull any air bubbles out. If you've ever worked with the ram pump, you know that air bubbles will stop a pump real quick. Okay, I may have to pull some air out from the lower side here. Woo, man, that's some pressure. A standpipe can also reduce the agonizing long time of purging the air out of the drive pipe. So for instance, where the ladder is, if the standpipe were there, you wouldn't have to worry about all the air in the line from here to the ladder. Definitely a big pain. I believe we're finally ready to give this thing a test. So the plan is, use the stopwatch for one minute and count the cycles. That way we'll know how many cycles there were in one minute's time. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the drive pipe, let everything fill with water, and then I'm gonna get this going and I'm gonna start the timer. Two, three, four. 37 in one minute and the pressure reached uh, 85 PSI. So 85 PSI on the pressure. Okay, let's release this pressure real quick. Watch the uh, end hose. <laughs> it's always fun. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is install the standpipe and see what kind of results we get. 
37 cycles in a minute and 85 psi is the uh, the numbers we want to beat so we should be able to increase the cycle time closer to one a second by installing the standpipe here what is this uh, 20 30 40 50 60 60 feet out from the pump the standpipe is just an open pipe that sticks up above the source I'm notoriously bad for judging height and so this piece here which was seven feet uh, I'll let all the water out of my bucket. So I've moved up to a 10 foot piece here and now we're gonna go up here and open up the supply line which used to be the drive pipe here and we will let this fill up and start our test again. Previously when I mentioned that it's gonna be faster to purge the air out of the line it's because this portion up into the standpipe can go up that way and everything that's in the pump section can purge through this pipe. Man, looks like we have a bit of a, oh no. I'm still judging it poorly up here. Look at that. Oh well, it's just a little bit. So let's go ahead and start this test and, uh, and get this going. Now, remember I do have four different sizes of Ram pump available at house.com and on Amazon. Link in the description down below. So we're working with uh, 10 feet of head pressure here. That's crazy. All right, stopwatch is ready to go again. Let's do this. Whoops, we gotta close that one off over there. Now we're good. All right, stopwatch is going. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 65 cycles in one minute. Pressure got up to 94. So the results from no standpipe versus standpipe was pretty significant. On the no standpipe, we had 37 cycles and 84-ish PSI. And on the standpipe version, we had 65 cycles with 94 PSI. So basically you had um, twice the cycles in one minute and also had uh, 10 PSI more than with the, uh, the non-standpipe version. So this goes to show that if you're gonna be using a ram pump and you have to have a very long drive pipe to achieve the head pressure you need, then it is definitely worth installing a standpipe. Now, where should you put this standpipe? I recommend somewhere between 25 and 100 feet. And that's based on a half inch pump up through a one and a quarter. If you're gonna be using a bigger pump, say two inch, three inch, four inch, you'll have to bring that standpipe closer than 100 feet because uh, of the way that the physics works on those long drive pipes and larger pumps. So as you noticed, the half inch pump did work on two, 190 feet of drive pipe. If you were to go with uh, one and a quarter, you may get 115 to two, 120 feet of drive pipe before it stops working altogether because the cycles are too slow. So um, keep that in mind. But as you can see, it is well worth installing a standpipe on a long run. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you need a ram pump, links in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.